Welcome to the Sent from Disneyland podcast. Pure age relives fond memories of the past. If it's your first time joining us, welcome. On this podcast, we'll take a journey into the past and explore Disneyland and Disneyland history with mementos, snapshots, and postcards sent from Disneyland from 1955 to the present. The postcards from this episode will be viewable on Instagram at Sent from Disneyland or on my website, SentFromDisneyland.com. Today, I'm starting off by thanking my patrons from Patreon.com. You can join in and receive mail from my desk or from my trips to Disneyland. I'm currently working on some new patron benefits. Patrons can sign up for as little as a dollar per month. Special thanks to Random Olive, the first patron to this podcast, and to the e-ticket patrons to Nia, Eric Daniels, Monica Seats Vega, Scott Booker, Russ Romano, Michael and Christina Cross, Scott Cagle, Joe Gamble, and Sheila Harry. See ticket patrons, series inquiries only, Debbie Weinstein, Jennifer Schneep, Grace Coat, Ben and Noel Bruning, and Patty Wool. B-Ticket Patrons, the Disney Rewind Podcast, and Jeff and Paige Orton. And to the A-Ticket Patrons, Elise Sharp, Zealot Infinity, Alexis Robles, Maggie and Henry Byers, Angelique and the Block, and the All Aboard Podcast. I am your host, your post-host, Clocky. And today, we have two postcards sent from Disneyland. The front of our first postcard is concept art of the Jungle Cruise. You can see the loading and unloading dock, and most of the area of Adventureland in the background. On the back it reads, African curios, jungle plants, and exotic birds are among the items found in Adventureland's Tahitian village, port of call of explorers, boats, traveling the rivers of the world. It's postmarked August 6, 1955, with an Anaheim cancel, and a red John Adams postage stamp, Scott number 806. I assume they visit the park on Friday, August 5th, when park hours were from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The weather was a high of 89 and a low of 65. Park attendance that day was 15,000, 15,830. It's addressed to Ms. Betty Burns of Fresno, California. It reads, Hi, Betty. This is a beautiful place. Having a good time. Wish you were here. Love, Mary. For this special Adventureland Day episode of the podcast, I thought it would be fun to look back at the history of Adventureland postcards. Looking at the Nickel Tour, a book dedicated to Disneyland postcards, the early postcards, known as P-cards, have concept art of Adventureland. The first listed is an illustration of Adventureland's entrance, with a bamboo arch and two elephant tusks. For scale, there's a few guests walking near the entrance, and a boy in the foreground looking into Adventureland. The other four cards from the original series of postcards are of the Jungle Cruise, which on opening day was the only attraction in Adventureland. One postcard is an aerial view of the attraction, with boats passing through Schweitzer Falls, past two giraffes, as well as some hippos, a snake, some birds, an African elephant, some alligators, and a turtle. Another postcard has the jungle native's village with grass huts and some boats. There's a postcard of the Cambodian shrine, with steps leading up to the shrine covered in plant overgrowth. Finally, the last postcard is the postcard used for this episode of the attraction loading and unloading dock, as well as a view of the Adventureland Bazaar. This postcard shows the entirety of the walkable area planned for the land. Adventureland has a dead end just past the Jungle Cruise queue, with some trees and a few buildings where the entrance to New Orleans Square is today. The original idea was to call the land True Life Adventureland. It would have live animals around the attraction. Once this plan was scrapped due to the warning that the animals would not always be seen by every guest, Some would hide and others would be more nocturnal. So the backs of these postcards have quotation marks around the word animals and True Life Adventureland dropped the true and life from its moniker. The first photo used for an Adventureland postcard included the completed main entrance to the land with the bamboo archway, a pair of elephant tusks, and a thatch roof lookout station. This was well before the Enchanted Tiki Room was built. So you can see the Adventureland Bazaar and the Jungle Cruise queue building. Another view of Adventureland on a postcard is of the Cantina building and the bazaar from the top of the Jungle Cruise building. You can see some of the umbrella-covered dining tables and a barrel trash can. There was even a postcard made of the back side of the Plaza Pavilion, which became the Tahitian Terrace. In the Nickel Tour, it mentions that guests would enter the -the turn-of-the-century Victorian facade, receive their food from a Hawaiian-themed counter, and sit overlooking the Jungle Cruise, which is now the dining area for Tropical Hideaway. The other postcards from the series were of the Jungle Cruise, two with views of Schweitzer Falls, one of a boat passing circling alligators, and a final postcard of the loading dock from above the queue building. 
Do you know what's great to put on a special greeting card? Vintage stamps from Enfield Post. Be sure to check out the special Sunday sales at EP Sunday Sale on Instagram. It's a great way to add a little bit of flair to a birthday card, holiday card, or a postcard. That's EP Sunday Sale on Instagram or you can head over to EnfieldPost.com and explore all the different vintage stamps you can use on your next card or letter. That's E-N-F-I-E-L-D-P-O-S-T on Instagram and EnfieldPost.com for your wedding and vintage postage needs. Enfield Post is the official postage stamp sponsor of the Sent from Disneyland podcast. The front of our next postcard has the loading dock of the Jungle Cruise. You can see guests waiting in line to board one of the boats. And in the background, you can see the scaffolding where they're building the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. On the back it reads, Jungle River Cruise. Brightly colored river boats leave the Adventureland Dock, the last outpost of civilization, and enter the mouth of the Irrawaddy River for an exciting trip down the rivers of adventure in Disneyland. It's postmarked July 12, 1965, with an Anaheim cancel and a four-cent purple Lincoln postage stamp, Scott number 1036. I assume they visit the park on Sunday, July 11th, when park hours were from 9 a.m. to midnight. The weather was a high of 74 and a low of 59. Park attendance that day was 42,896. It's addressed to a Mr. Jimmy McKenna of New Haven, Connecticut. It reads, Hi, Jimmy. We're all enjoying the fun here. Hello to your mother, and dad, and brothers, Wally, Irene, Sharon. The last few early postcards for Adventureland were unique. One was a vertical card sold with a set of Disneyland postcards. These cards were made in Germany and sold at Disneyland for a limited time in 1956. The image is of a Jungle Cruise boat heading past the shrine towards the viewer. Underneath the image, Jungle Boat Disneyland is written in a cursive font. The second postcard is just a plain yellow card with Adventureland printed at the top, with the Chinese characters meaning good luck, and followed by an exclamation point, and ending with, and I'm not kidding, written at the bottom of the card. I've only seen this postcard in the Nickel Tour book. I did a search for it online and couldn't come up with a single image of it. I will now be on a search for one on my travels. A new Grail postcard. It took some time for a new Adventureland postcard to be produced. There was one more made of the Jungle Cruise dock in the next series of postcards, a new series which mostly focused on newer attractions during 1956 and 1957 in Tomorrowland and Fantasyland. The next specialty postcards made with Adventureland views were two elongated postcards, one with the backside of water in the distance from the stern of a Jungle Cruise boat. You can even see the skipper's sleeve and a microphone cord. The second elongated postcard is also from the viewpoint of a guest on a boat. This postcard has a skipper in a red shirt and white pants shooting directly at a hippo charging the boat. The first multi-view postcards featuring Adventureland have either an image of the Jungle Cruise dock or a hippo attacking a passing boat. These images are also on standalone postcards. As Adventureland expanded, so did the postcard offerings, including a postcard of the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse and inside the Enchanted Tiki Room with the Birdmobile and a couple of brightly dressed cast members walking around. With the changes made to Jungle Cruise by Mark Davis and the Imagineers, many new Jungle Cruise postcards were added to the postcard rack, mostly of the new gags and animatronics, including the Lost Safari, the Pride of Lions protecting a sleeping zebra, and a few postcards of the sacred elephant bathing pool. There was a fad of Disneyland postcards to include animated characters as part of the still life photo. For Adventureland, these included Goofy, leading Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Mickey Mouse, dressed like adventurers, holding an elephant tusk while walking out of the Adventureland entrance, and another postcard of Mickey Mouse dressed as a skipper and shooting at charging hippos, while Donald Duck runs away on the top of the water. Through the 60s, 70s, 80s, and early 90s, when the Nickel Tour concludes its coverage of Disneyland postcards, very few new postcards were made for Adventureland. A couple of the newer postcards included costume characters like the Three Caballeros near the Tropical Import Shop and a vertical card of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger walking out of Adventureland. There was a multi-view postcard specifically of Adventureland, which reused other postcard images, plus an image of the Tahitian terrace dancers. Finally, there was an Adventureland postcard available in the Disney Gallery of the Native Village, illustrated by Harper Goff. This incoming postcard is sponsored by the Art Throwdown. Art Throwdown, or ATD, is an online craft hour on Instagram, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. Be sure to check out Monday's ATD, which is usually hosted by a paper artist, Russ Romano. I see many amazing art projects, learned about awesome postmarks, postage stamp history, and a lot more on different episodes. It's great to stop in for an hour to watch someone craft or design something unique. 
Each host brings something a little different to each show. I'll list some of the regular hosts, or you can follow Russ Romano 2021 on Instagram. The front of my incoming postcard has a few Christmas tree limbs, decorated with snow, ribbons, lights, and a few special ornaments. One that reads, Wishing you the happiest of holidays. It's postmarked December 10th, 2022, with an Oakland Happy Holidays Elf Cancel and a Holiday Elf with Rocket Forever Postage Stamp, Scott number 5725. It reads, And a joyous new year, with love from the Laskies. Special delivery for Clocky. I don't know why they made the backs of mine glossy, but anyhow, I hope you and the missus have a Merry Christmas. XOXOSL. Thank you so much for the postcard, Shannon. We teamed up this year to make my holiday cards as well. Although not all of mine made it out on time, some will go out next year. Shannon and I also worked on a postcard for Adventureland Day. As of this recording, there are two endings that could happen, so I'm recording both, and I'll post one that suits best on Saturday morning. So, I'm so excited because even with some printing issues and a delivery delay, I was able to receive the postcards and will be handing out special Adventureland postcards at Adventureland Day on Sunday, March 5th. Be sure to sign up for my mailing list through Instagram to get one of these cards. Thanks for listening to Sent from Disneyland. If you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe and tell your friends. It would be awesome to share your favorite episode. There are over 100 episodes to choose from. It would also help to leave a five-star rating and comment on whatever podcast platform you use. If you'd like to support the show financially, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash sentfromdisneyland. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Sent From Disneyland or on Twitter at Sent From Disney. For questions and comments, send me a postcard address to Sent From Disneyland, P.O. Box 44, Hood, California, 95639. This podcast is not affiliated with Disney, the United States Postal Service, or any post office or Disney properties. Opinions expressed on this podcast belong to its host and guests of the Sent From Disneyland podcast. 